Hello again everyone, I'm back again to do another tutorial for you. This time I'm going to do a one layer card and show you how I stamp a Christmas tree. I'm going to be using three sets from Happy Little Stampers today. The most important one is the Mix Mash set and I'm going to use the smallest three circles, the open circles, outlines that I've shown you there. I'm going to use a very tiny full stop from the Bold Birthday Sentiments and this cool sentiment from the Mixed Christmas Sentiments. So first of all I had to make up a template for me to stamp in so I ruled the top and bottom line and this is really easy you just measure in on the bottom there and then measure the middle at the top line and draw your lines. Then I just used a uh, craft mat and a knife to cut that out and that makes up my triangle template for me to stamp into to create my Christmas tree. So I'm going to start with the smallest outline circle and I'm going to stamp within the corners of the triangle first just to get the start of my tree happening. And out of the three circles, I'm going to use the larger one. And I stamp pretty randomly. And there's no exact science to this. I mean, you can try and make it as perfect as you like. But I like it more random style. So I'm just going to speed this up a bit in a moment. Just as because you'll have the idea. And then I use the middle circle outline to fill in all those gaps. And as I said, it's not going to be perfect. So once I do that, I go back to the small outline and put a little, little, a couple more in. Now this is where the little full stop from the bold birthday sentiments comes in really handy. I'm going to create the structure, the outline of my tree, just to give it that real definition. So as you can see, it really adds a little bit of flair to my tree. Now you, I've used black here. You can use any color that you like. And I've used the outline circles because I'd like to colour them in. And what I'm going to use today is my Wink of Stella pens. So it's going to give it some nice glittery shine on the end result. So I'll speed this up too. It gets a bit boring watching someone colour in. But just to give you an idea of how quick and easy this is, even when it's not sped up, it's a really quick and easy card to make. And being one layer, as you know, with Christmas cards, makes it nice and easy to pop in an envelope and mail off, especially those overseas ones. So just a very quick colour in with these pens. I've gone with a purple, blue and pink. Very non-traditional for those of you who like those colours. You can obviously colour them in very traditional colours in the red, green and gold if you like, or silvers. Now the base for my tree is the sentiment and I don't even really have to line it up with my grid or anything, I just use the bottom of the tree to line that up. And I thought that sentiment worked really well with this style of Christmas tree. And that's basically it for that card. It's all glittery and shiny. You've got a nice one layer card, very, very easy to make. Then I thought I'll show you just a little twist on this one. I thought, well, how about we use some neon ink? That'd be cool. And we'll use the solid circles. So you don't even have to color in this one. So it's all the same process. So this is sped up for you. Exactly the same process using the, the sizes the smallest one in the corners to start off, the larger one a few more times within the middle. So I've gone with blue, pink and green, very hot neon colours. May not be your cup of tea, but it really is a, a very cool look. And then once I finish with my neon stamping, I'm going to use 
the little full stop again just with the black ink to define the outline of my tree I always do those corners first I don't know why it just seems to work for me and then I do try and work down the sides the edges and then start filling in in between again it's very random it's up to you then I thought the best thing for this one to do is use those outline stamps again and give it a really fun look I mean I like it how it is but we'll just give it a little bit of extra fun so we'll stamp that sentiment I don't know if you can hear that but it's absolutely started to pour here and I've got a tin roof so the sound is quite loud I hope you can't hear it now here I did make a bit of a boo-boo that's the wrong outline I should have used a smaller one there but it works and I didn't want them to be all perfect I wanted it to be it was nearly like a, a bubble tree it looks nice and fun <laughs> it's really raining now you can probably hear it but we need the rain so it's good so two quite different trees in the end using different inks and just the different stamping techniques using those solid and outline circle stamps there you go very easy all the products will be listed below i hope you have a go at this and i'm glad that you were here to watch thank you